Hello Anatomy students, this is Rob Swatsky and we're continuing our review of the appendicular skeleton with a closer look at the coxal bone or the hip bone, one of the two coxal bones that make up the pelvic girdle and the coxal bone has a number of important bony landmarks for us to consider. The coxal bone is made up of three fused bones the superior and largest of the three is the ilium. The most anterior is the pubis, the pubic bone, which comes to a point out in front of the pelvic girdle. And the posterior, ischium. Ischium, or think ish -ium, ish tush, we sit on our tush, we sit on the ischium or ischium, the seat bone, this round curved shape is a good reminder of its function. Now looking at the ilium we have a number of features to consider. The most superior bony landmark is the iliac crest. The word iliac is any reference to a structure on the ilium. And the crest, just like the crest of a wave that's breaking on the shore, this is the, the top of the wave, the top of this large ilium. Now you also want to focus on your anteriors and your posteriors because the ilium contains two pairs of processes that are found located on the anterior and posterior sides respectively. So remember the pubis is anterior. The pubis is pointing out in the front. Front is anterior. So that means this process is the anterior superior iliac spine. It's the upper superior iliac spine. Here is our anterior inferior iliac spine. Superior inferior. They're not spines like you would think, like sharp spines. They're, they're more rounded attachment points for uh, muscles of the trunk and the pelvic girdle. Posteriorly, we have a pair of spines. The posterior superior iliac spine and the posterior inferior iliac spine. We also have another spine located here on the ischium or ischium. This is the ischial spine. And located directly above the ischial spine is a large cutaway portion into the coxal bone. This is the greater sciatic notch. A notch is any cutout of a bone that kind of is grooved or sharp angled. And this is a guiding region for the longest nerve of the body, the sciatic nerve, as it's passing through the pelvic girdle down into the thigh and lower leg. Underneath the ischial spine, we have a lesser sciatic notch. And we also have our largest foramen, the obturator foramen the only foramen here on the coxal bone. Obturate means to cover up and this is a passage for, for a nerve and blood vessels that's covered up by a membrane on either side of this large circular opening. We also have a fossa. This is the iliac fossa which is a groove for the iliacus muscle which sits within that depression. 